Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were exploring this particular office here. I finally found the evidence locker, but when I loaded up, apparently Cass wanted to talk to me. So we're going to hey. do that real quick. Excuse hey. me. You have time to Excuse talk me. now. Still have something important to say. What, you, I missed something? Uh... Of course, what's on your mind? Course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But mm -hmm. through all that crap, I noticed you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making huh. sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I see. Didn't we already go through this? You don't owe me a thing. Didn't we already go through this? You don't owe me a thing. It all starts with two waves of humanity. I suppose you could call me parents. Uh. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. Oh. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. Oh, God. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God, I'm so sorry. My God, I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there's more to the story. Oh, no. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. Uh. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <laughs> that is some heavy shit. I don't know how you survived. I don't know how you survived. That makes two of us. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years... I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. I mean, you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. Did Especially I? after all that. When I close me eyes. All I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Wow. Why judge yourself? Why judge yourself? My parents sold me into slavery. But did they deserve to die for it? I'd say yeah, I possibly. I took some as I was growing up. But they fed me and kept me from glowing with rats. This is the kind of crap that starts me mind wandering and drives me literally to drink. I guess I'm just waiting to hear what you think of me now. I'm proud of you. I'm proud Honestly. of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the option. Uh... I'm a cheatsy doodle. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh... That was... Really heavy I'm always stuff. Here, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, uh I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. So uh, I, didn't I always find that hilarious. That much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. 
And I'll always be there for you, too. And that was one of the things that I uh, expected to... <laughs> well, camera... So, uh, uh, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> because I didn't expect that to happen so soon, right after the other conversation. I expected it to take a little longer, but apparently... Not the case. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, that whole story is, okay, another lookup failed issue, um, there was another update recently to the mod itself, I'm starting to think maybe that happened again, maybe, I'm hoping not, uh, okay. Just looking through the stuff here. And I'll look again to see if all that stuff screwed up again. Holy shit, a fat man. I'm, of course, going to take that because why would I not? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, there's that, there's that. And, of course, the mini nuke right there. Bourbon bottle vodka. Okay. And stealth boy. Hey! We are done. Huh. Detective Valentine, Nick, listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset, but you need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believe it. I still believe in it. They kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon, and they laid it all up. The whole thing. Winter's deal with the DA, his agreement to bring down the other families. His idea to record the holotapes and incriminate all known associates. And them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was the plan all along, Nick. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL, all on the books. Ooh. For his cooperation, Winter will be granted total immunity. It's over. Effective immediately, Operation Winter's End is to cease all investigations and operations. The task force is hereby disbanded. We played our part, pal. Not the part we thought, but hey, it happens. Now we're just another box in the file room. Nick, listen to me. Everything that's happened with Winter, with Jenny, it's more than any one man should have to handle. You need help. Boston PD has been working with the eggheads at CIT. Some new program they have to deal with trauma. Scanning brainwaves or some such. I'll get you the info. You're going. That's an order. And that's a little bit of backstory that uh, I know. <laughs> I know how that worked. Into the whole scheme of things. But I won't be able to pick uh, this. I'm not going to be able to open that. Uh, but it's not readily apparent when you're looking at it and reading it and hearing it so I'll leave it for when I can actually fully show it well I don't really blame you but I need hey. to carry some stuff for me Kate Aww. and here I thought you wanted to snuggle well maybe later but yeah anyway uh, that I didn't expect dropping on us that quickly <laughs> on top of you know everything else and apparently there's screw-ups with the uh, everything else if that uh, look up failed goofiness was any indication. Uh, let's drop you that. I'm just trying to get enough weight so that way. We... There we go. Now I can actually move around and head out and possibly sell off this crap that I just looted. <laughs> but yeah, I am really worried that that look up thing's going to be a continual problem. And. That's the last thing I want. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's pretty much most of the backstory for Kate laid out. And I didn't expect it to happen directly after the last episode, but hey, it works. But I still need to look up to see if that <sighs> mod is still screwing things up. Man. Why'd it have to be that? There's always something screwy going on with me and my crap. Alright. It's that's the wrong button. 
There we go. Perk chart. Lookup failed almost immediately for everything. Oh my god, everything failed. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> Idiot Savant still has the thing work. But everything else, whoop, other than Ninja. Yeah, everything else has lookup failed. Oh, uh, boy. What the hell? What is wrong with my game and this fucking mod, I swear? Yeah, everything. Everything else other than those two are screwed. I kind of want to check. Yeah, lookup failed. Lookup failed. And lookup failed. Oh, jeez. Weapons. Lookup failed. Yep. And lookup failed. Uh, lookup failed. Jesus Christ, lookup failed. I, I'm kind of... I wouldn't be surprised if everything else is perfectly fine. Uh, why is it only items and perks? Why is that the thing? Okay. Report my success. I'll eventually have to anyway. And I need to sell stuff off first. So I guess I'll go here first. Just to sell off my crap. <sighs> I'll take a break in the recording session between this and the next one to see what I can do to try and fix that lookup failed issue. But... There might not be much. Which pisses me off, because I thought we had it licked. No, apparently not. Ugh, stupid fucking breaking game. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Alright, and... Yeah, Arturus... Or Arturo, rather, isn't open yet. What time is it, anyway? I can't really tell at this point. I have to sit down, I think. Uh, stool. There we go. There we go. That should do it. Uh, I can wait now. There we go. Uh, couple hours till it's open, but I can always go there. So I'm gonna do that. Friend looks like trouble. Make sure she's not. Can you, you, you know, lay off a little bit there, bud? Huh? She's fine. All right. Well, I know most of what I'm looking for. Boo! <laughs> Let's take a look. Sure. Let's take a look. Alrighty, sounds good to me. Um, I need all of those rounds still. I don't need those pistols. But I do need to get my stuff back from Kate. Wherever the hell she ran off to. Kate! God damn it, woman. Where'd you go? I'm city, there you are. Tebas. Kate! Hey. What is it? Come here. Over here. You should. It's like one of the few things I need of you. Thank you. There we are. All right. This is my favorite part of the job. No, oh, yeah, I bet it is. All right. Take all the crap. Thank you. Oh wait, you're running low on ammo there. Sure. Uh, let me dump the rest on you. For there you sure. go. Just keep your shirt on. Well, I mean, I'll try. That's a weird combination of stuff. I'll take a look. Sure. Okay. Alrighty, let's just drop off this. First off, let's see what you have. Um, I could always use a Braxo cleaner and an alarm clock. Why not? 
The fiber optics and asbestos I kind of need a lot of, but I don't want to, you know, continually buy this stuff when I can just pick it up. But most of this I can't really find that much of in the first place. So, yeah, cooking oil and coolant cap, I'll pay for those, absolutely. Uh, desk fan, always could use the gears and screws, always, always. Okay, do we have anything else? Fusion cores. I could do for getting a couple of those. Let's see what else we can drop on you. Marksman's rapid pipe rifle. Eventually get rid of that. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to drop that on you. Drop that and that. Uh, don't really need that, so... Wait a second. I could break that down eventually once I get scrapper. So I'm going to keep that for now. Um, hardened sniper rifle. Do not really need that. It, uh, medium scope. Huh. Just making sure that there's nothing on there I need for my rifle, which I don't think is the case. Uh, yeah, I already have a medium scope, so everything else is not necessary. So, absolutely sell that. Sell that. Uh, machete? Eh, don't really need that. Uh, rapid pipe rifle? Hmm. Yeah, wait a second. I just realized I could break that down for a lot, too. Uh, yeah, but let me just look at everything else. Oh, yeah, I could... Get a lot of stuff out of this. Absolutely. Molotov cocktails. I'm going to keep those as backup just in case my grenades run out. Because that would be an actual good idea. Um, rapid pipe rifle. This one I could also break down and get a lot of stuff out of. Uh, that barrel for sure. I could swap that out for uh, uh, Kate's barrel on her gun. Uh, short combat rifle, I'll sell that. The laser rifle for sure. Uh, some machine gun, yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of that. Uh, tactical calibrated powerful pipe pistol, that's a mouthful. Uh, oh, I'll keep that for now. And the revolver, yeah, I'll keep that too. A wounding sledgehammer. <sighs> God damn it, why does my game break all the time? I'll sell that. Everything else I'll keep. Alright, uh, armor. What do we got? Uh, don't need that, really, so I'll sell that. I'll keep that, because Han Solo, <laughs> look, <laughs> eventually. Uh, cunning metal chest piece. Uh, do I really need that? Cunning is agility and perception, so no, not really. Uh, leather studded, leaded studded. <laughs> that's a fucking tongue twister if I've ever seen one leaded studded leather left arm Jesus Christ <laughs> the alliteration killed me there the entire time uh, okay sell that I'll keep the militia hat uh, poisoner's leather right arm uh, can't really justify having that uh this, I mean, it looks good for sure, but can't really, yeah, I, I can't really justify keeping it. Um, that I could, because that can be useful to have an extra intelligence boost whenever I really need it. Uh, let me just double check what I can sell off. Uh, geez. This is the episode where I sell shit and learn about Kate. That's about it. <laughs> Jeebus, Lorenzo. It's not my fault, I swear. It's just with the lookup error, I don't want to possibly try something and then have the game crash on me. I'm just trying to play it safe at this point. Guns and bullets. Uh, yeah, I could sell that, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I really can do. Unless I have something extra. Uh, yeah, the mini nuke. I forgot I had the mini nuke. Okay. Now I can buy other stuff from you. Stuff that I don't necessarily need. Um, yeah, I didn't realize this had screws, so that makes sense. Uh, 
don't necessarily need... Eh, I guess I could grab one. Uh, industrial solvent. Of course I'm going to grab that. Uh, of course. I'm going to grab these. Uh, huh. What else do we got that I can get out of you? Uh, revolutionary sword. Hello. <laughs> that is... That is a good one. I mean, it's not necessarily good per se, because the damage on it is not as good as a Chinese sword, but that is still pretty gorgeous, I'll tell you that much. Uh, everything else, don't really need that much of. Ceramic in 50, holy shit, that's a lot, and that's also a lot of cost with it, too. Yeesh, I'm not willing to spend that much. Okay, everything else. Sighted light combat rifle, why would you put... Oh, okay. That's what I meant by sighted. Okay. I was about to say, the fuck? Lock it. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the one I picked up and then sold later. Okay. Uh, I'll pick that up for sure. And, ooh, absolutely get all that ceramic. Absolutely get all that ceramic. Vacuum tube, and we're good. Awesome. We're good. Kinda, yeah, because it's all good stuff, and I was also going to upgrade your gun, so I think you should be appreciating it a little more. Said he picked up a weird distress call in Cambridge ruins. Cambridge ruins. Huh. I think I know what that is they're talking about. But I'm gonna have to end the episode here for right now because I need to check on how to fix that fucking lookup issue again. God damn it. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to get things to work while also learning a bit more about Kate for you.